Welcome back to Timber Bonners. We're doing this at night because I'm not sure if we're gonna survive. <laughs> also, today is the last day you can get a paddy plushie. If you want one, buy one because otherwise they'll be gone forever. I don't know why I'm doing this in the song, but let's crack on with the Timber Bonners. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, hello fellow engineers. Yes, we ended on a massive cliffhanger last time. Everyone is thirsty, everyone is dying, including the strongest sheep. Uh, but if I just press pause in my comment section, I did have a fantastic idea which could save some lives. Now the trouble we have at the moment is that it's 0.3 days until the drought finishes. All of our beavers are extremely thirsty. Some are even dying from that thirst. Who is that? Jack, Jackie, Tacky, I'm, I'm very sorry. Uh, but if you look up here, you can see we actually have 100 water. But if we click down here on Beaverville District Center, you can see where most of our beavers are, there is no water. The only water on the map currently is over this direction. Now this is Shameville, where beavers like architectural bridges, Paddy the architect, and RCE is secretly an architect where they like to hang out. Now the trouble is I stupidly sent them water, which is in this district center. You can see there, a hundred water. Yeah, but because it's in this district and not this district, the beavers, they won't come and take it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on the district center. I'm gonna click this, migrate population, and we're going to send 74 adults and 11 children. That is all of them. Everyone is being shamed. <laughs> We're going to click migrate. And as they all cross over, we will shame. <laughs> shame. 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 All of you, you're all shameful for being so thirsty. Shame. <laughs> oh, there's so many. I hope that this saves some lives. I really do. Look, they're all, they're all going in there. They're all grabbing water. All right, please just grab one each. There's enough for everyone. If you grab one each, it's going down very quickly. We've got 20 left. Oh, it might be okay. It looks like there's less than 20 thirsty beavers coming. Uh, there's eight water left. All right, come on, you thirsty guys. Go, go have a drink. Who's that? Super Sum Creations, come on. You're smarter than this. Go have a drink. Who's the other thirsty one? It is you. Jonas Swanson. You He's gone to sleep. He's dying. He's got the red exclamation mark. This beaver will die. But that might mean all the beavers will survive. As long as they make it. I see one has just died. Duncan Brown. Two more in there. Just had a drink. Nice. So there's only four more thirsty beavers on the entire map. And now it's morning. The drought has ended. The beavers. Yes, the thirsty ones are having a drink. Go on, you get in there, mate. Yes. Now it's just you. Oh, there's a few more thirsty Have we run out of water? Okay, we've run out of water. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, but now I can migrate all of them back. Oh no, one just died. One just died down there. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, I disappeared. But I think we want to send 71 back and 10 children. Right, so everyone is heading back. And now we should see if we head up here. Look, the water is returning. Oh, that was so close. I nearly, this season, nearly finished with a horrible, horrible ending. Uh, but things are good. Things are back on track. I think. As long as the water makes it down there before anyone else gets thirsty and dies. I think it should. I think we're fine. Yeah, so meanwhile, we're going to have to turn on all of these pumps ready. I'll turn on the lumber mills because we are short of planks. All right, here we go. Look, the water is returning. Yes, we survived. Oh god, everyone's thirsty. Everyone's thirsty. Right, pause. <laughs> Why is no one working? Why is no one in the pump? Oh, working hours are on zero. Turn those back up. All right, back to 16 hour work days. Why is no one in the pumps? All the pumps are empty. Oh, they're all bloody scientists. All right, I'll pause all all of these inventor huts because they are our summer jobs and summer is over oh thank god you can use p to pause these that was giving me carpal tunnel all <laughs> right they're all paused i think people have gone in there there's jonathan kevers there's ricky there's randy yes nice so we should have water soon which means we can probably open this up again the gear workshop the paper mill the other paper mill whatever that was the smelter they're all open and as soon as the water spills over that dam this should all move and i want to try and increase the power here i think we don't have enough power in the network um, but i want to have a little play with the water physics see if i can boost them somehow. Uh, meanwhile, still a lot of thirsty beavers. We're not quite through the drought yet. Water has returned, but we, we need to keep pumping. Oh, here we go. Look, these are moving now. So the amount of power we get in that network is 300 and... Oh, it's going up. It's going up. We're on 400. 
We only need 600 HP. Oh, we might be okay. Oh no, it's going back down. It's going back down. Okay, so we're, we're about 100 HP short. It's going back up again. Come on, game. You're making me look stupid. You're embarrassing me. Okay, I think the network's fine. We're like, we're over 700. So we'll leave that for now. That's all good. Uh, meanwhile, the shamers are getting thirsty now. Who is that? The folk. Are you a shamer? You shouldn't be a shamer. I'm not sure what you're doing over there. You're homeless and unemployed. So if you migrate one population. There you go. He's heading back to get a drink now. Don't worry, the folk. I think I just saved your life. I think we'll keep an eye on you just to see if you do actually survive. That's it. Grab a drink. Yes, we did it. We saved a life today. Yeah, so over this side, we've got quite a few unemployed beavers. I'm going to turn on a load of this. Oh, the folk just went in there. So we just got him out of Shameville and now he is a shamer. <laughs> All right, so there we go. That's all of our beavers employed, but over here somewhere, where was it? There, RCE secretly an architect. He snuck over into Beaverville. We will not have that. You will be shamed. All right, so now we know the only unemployed beaver is RCE secretly an architect. So we will migrate population, one adult from Beaverville to Shameville, migrate. And there he is. So we will shame, shame, shame. Get back in your Shameville kingdom, right? I am going to tell him to do a bit of scavenging. Uh, these guys are thirsty. Are we delivering water still? We may have stopped the water. We might want to not kill our shamers. So back over to the distribution post. Yes, we completely paused water. There's carrots, logs, and planks going to them. Uh, we just need to set up a new water route because we do actually want to keep them alive. And then we need to go back into this, the district distribution limits, because apparently I, I did this wrong. So when I type in high, that's how much we want Beaverville to keep, not how much we want them to send. So basically they won't send anything until Beaverville has at least these numbers. So in water, I think we probably want like, we probably want that on zero to start just while they get their first water over so they don't die. But then after that, we'll increase that number to like, Three, four hundred-ish. All right, things are back on track. You can see these two guys, they're replacing the old dried out and dyed spatter dock with nice fresh ones. Now the farmers are doing the same with the carrots. These brown ones are getting replaced with nice green ones. And yeah, things aren't too bad. So next up, I wanted to have a little play to see if we could work out how the water physics work in terms of getting the most efficient power we can. So what I thought we would do we've got stairs down here so we can build down here i was thinking if we just grab a compact power wheel that only takes 25 logs so we'll rotate it and we're just going to shove one there so we'll put that on super high priority because i want to check this asap oh no oh no the shamers have all died look do you see that that was a shamer oh dear i don't think they got water in time oops i just <laughs> i I just killed the shamers. RCE, Secret and Architect, Architectural Bridges, and Paddy the Architect. They're all, they're all dead. We have no more shamers. What's, what's the point of living anymore? <laughs> uh, right, that's actually quite annoying. But perhaps it's time to turn this into not a shaming area, into actually somewhere fairly decent. Because I feel like we're going to need this space soon. I really want to get up here, get the old dynamite in. So perhaps it's time to rename Shameville to non-Shameville. And then we'll be able to send over some beavers and try and get these guys self-sufficient. Right, and down here you can see the wheel has just been built. So as a little test, we're going to click on that. And we're going to see what the power output roughly is most of the time. So I think we're looking at about 47, 48 Let's speed up time. Oh god, it's increasing all the time. It's just going faster and faster. All right, okay, so I think we've seen the range. It's between like 40... Why is it, why is it drop so low? <laughs> it's down to 35. So between 35 and 60, I guess. I'm guessing the water sort of has rapid moments. It doesn't go higher than like 58 though. So my, my plan to test is we're then going to build a levee. We're going to build one either side because in theory, in real life anyway, the water coming down here will get pushed down through that lane. And if you think about it, water trying to go down a narrower gap, it's going to go faster. The question will be though, will it actually work like that? I'm not convinced. Right, so here we go. They are both built and we've made the strongest shape. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Love it. So that means this should be really efficient. So let's click on that. Power output 50. If we fast forward, we can see the range. Remember, it did drop to the 30s before. It, it still dropped to the 30s. Okay, it appears that made zero difference. In fact, it probably made it worse. What if I delete one of these levees? So I'll delete that one. 
Will that make it any faster? 48. No. Okay, I think we proved levees don't make the water faster. So therefore, it makes sense just to do this combine harvester layout if we want to max our power. And I think we probably do pretty soon because uh, we've got these smelters being built up here. So they're going to take a lot more power to be required. So I think I'm actually going to delete that compact wheel. It's sort of in the wrong place. And we're going to build these. Think along there. Then we're going to put a levee there we're gonna do a high power shaft and then we can just do a corner one there and then another high power shaft because we've got to get up into the building there you go <laughs> it's got to go straight through that window boosh right okay i think we're looking good oh god no we're not no we're not why is everyone everyone's hungry are we not picking carrots we are picking carrots do we have storage space yeah we have storage space why why are people hungry suddenly i think we're sending too much food to the shamers that don't exist so we shouldn't be really they're all set to like 50 and 100. Hmm. Oh, anyway, let's pause the distribution post. We got four unemployed beavers, so I think we'll just shove them in this new hauling post. So look at all those people in there. Ah, oh, bridges don't suck. I'm glad you survived. I'm very glad you survived. Here's hauling stuff about as well. Good work, sir. All right, so up here, this is our explosives factory layout. What are we building? What's left to build? We got another smelter to go in. That needs more materials it needs gears it's got everything apart from gears now i think this is our <laughs> this is our very efficient gear workshop so there and there creating the gears so that should be fine now we've also got another one over here again powered by shamers that don't exist we need more shamers back we've currently got heather blakely working the wheel and who's just gone in that one? Oh no code blue engineer you're better than that mate you're an engineer. You should be in the building where Hawaii Wong is. But oh well, it is what it is. All right, and then we got this building, which is the explosives factory. Now, they have everything apart from metal blocks. So that's what the smelters are making. So I think we just got to be patient with that one. And then we can start making dynamite. The trouble is we now don't have any shamers, which means we're not mining any of these ruins for scrap metal. So the question is, who wants to go over to Shameville and work on their own? We have one unemployed beaver, actually, so it wouldn't be the silliest idea. So district center, migrate population, one adult is going over. And who is it? Strongest shape, best shape. Oh, <laughs> One of our best beavers has actually joined the non-Shameville community. I think that's a good advertisement to try and attract new beavers to this area. Because that's the trouble. With the history it has, not many people are going to be keen to join. But if they see someone like Stronger Shape, Best Shape, beavering away down there, I think more might be inclined to join. Alright, so it looks like we're back in the dying of old age situation we were in earlier which is very good i don't like people dying of thirst i don't mind them dying of old age it means they had a good long life and it means we're sort of we're running things okay meanwhile we've had some people grow up we've had william was born and reveal your face to us has grown up i think that might be a message to me but in answer to that it's going to take some serious bribing i would say if we sell a thousand paddy plushies i'll do it but then i know some crazy bastard will just go and buy a thousand of them <laughs> So I'm not going to say that. Uh, you'll notice I can't get these guys to build there. They say it's too far from the construction site. You can see if we click our district center, we can only build up to there, which is really annoying. So I've got these guys building stairs and now they can reach it. Meaning the beavers can now build these shafts. Lovely. All right, meanwhile up here, you can see we are now polluting the atmosphere. Yes, the smelters are up and running. We've got Rumberg, Tian, Minar, and Walker. They are in there making the metal blocks, which we need to build the explosives factory. Uh, we only need 18 more of those, and then that will be built. Lovely. Oh, something I've just noticed. Look at the speed that these new water wheels are spinning at compared to the old ones so you would expect these to be making a load of power so that's making 55 this one's making 56 if we click on one of these back here which is moving a lot slower its power output is 66 that one's 63 what <laughs> the slower they go the more power they make very very unusual uh, I've just noticed down down here, look, stronger shape, best shape. He's filled up the scrap metal. So what I might do, I might pause that one and then unpause that one. So now he can fill this scavenger flag up with metal. And then we need to think about trying to do the paths so he fills up the small warehouse. Ideally, I want to send more beavers over though. I'm trying to wait for a few more births though. Oh, here we go, here we go. We've had loads of births. Joe, Adam, Logan, Mr. Koru and Hall in the big one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, currently we have two unemployed beavers. So I'm going to migrate them straight away. So Adam and the strongest shape, they have both gone over there. Oh god, three days 
And there's a drought incoming. Uh, we need to we need to sort the water situation out then. I think we need to start prioritizing these. We need gears for that. Get another water pump going. How much water is in this drop-off point? We've got 93. I think that's probably going to be enough. Oh, I've already paused the distribution post. Okay, we're not even sending any water over there. All right, so I sent over a load more people. So I'm going to unpause this scavenger flag. So I moved the limits back, which means we're now storing scrap metal in this small warehouse. I moved the district gate so that we've got one non-shame villa, which is you ask, and one beaver villa, which is still Heather, powering the gear workshop there. I, I feel that's the fairest way of doing this. And meanwhile, two people doing the scrap metal and then over here they've been busy beavering away getting stairs up to this location because uh, this is where we're going to plant our dynamite uh, however you'll notice all the all the yellow warning signs we have we have a food crisis there is a famine going on there's literally zero food i don't know what's happened i'm gonna pause the birthing pods because i know that they take berries uh, do i just have too many beavers is that what is that what's going on we've got people up here grilling chestnuts we've got these guys picking chestnuts we've got carrots constantly growing we're just not making enough food for what we're eating i think the trouble is because we had to replace all the spatter dock it takes ages for it to get made although they are very very close 96 percent 97 percent okay so i think food might be fixed soon once they grow uh, but it's it's a bit risky we might be ending on another cliffhanger <laughs> <laughs> it depends how quickly we can sort all of that out. Anyway, yeah, let's go see how these guys have gone. They've got all the way to the top. That is fantastic. Because if we can get water down the back, then I sort of envisage this area being like a farm area. Because like huge flat plains, that will be filled with water, so that will be green. But I'll tell you what, maybe I want to do that now. These guys, they're not building anything. Shall we turn them into farmers? So we can say build a farm there, and then we can get them planting. I think just a load of carrots like that. Oh god, food is not good. Although look, look, the spatter dock is being harvested finally, and it's being grilled in here by Vespion. Though it's being eaten quicker than it's being produced. <laughs> it's not even in the list anymore. Right, and I might make one of these guys grow some spatter dock as well. They're all doing chestnuts. I'll tell you what, Nick the Ginger, you're at 0% efficiency. So I'm going to change you to make grilled spatter dock. Oh, look up here. Our first log storage areas have been made already. Look, you can see the bottom layer of storage. They all have logs in. So that's good. We're making progress. All right, so the drought has started. You can see it's completely dried up, uh, which does mean I need to be... A lot more careful this time. I need to pause all of these water pumps. We're going to pause all of them, apart from one, I think. Literally pausing them all. Yeah, that's nine unemployed beavers now. So we're going to put them, get in some science, the old summer jobs. Likewise, industrial area, there's no power now. So you're all being summer scientists. Ooh, a wave of death there. Mr. Zambo, Sevens, Tom, Walker, and Marrow. They all died of old age. All right, tell you what, up here, I'm going to start clearing some of these trees. Let's build a lumberjack flag there. Oh, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Where's the non shame villas? How many? There's only two. Hang on, we got Omka. I didn't even know you were in non shameville And we got strongest shape, best shape. Where have all the others gone? Did they die? Oh, no, look. The strongest shape died of hunger. You asked died of... Oh, no, they, they died of hunger. <laughs> I assume there's no food. Yeah, there's no there's no food. Oh goodness, this is a disaster. All right, I'm pausing non shameville Too dangerous. Go back to Beaverville, guys. Go get fed. Go get watered. We'll recoup after the dry season. Oh, look at this though. This is our barrack. We've got the roof on top. We've got the roof, which means we can delete these paths. We can build I was gonna do the beaver statue, but that just satisfies aesthetics beaver statue which does working speed plus five percent let's just see what the other things are we got some monuments so labor a monument oh here you go they're down in ore so what does ore do so that does oh 25 percent working speed yeah shall we get them to work 25 percent quicker so we need the labor monument costs a thousand science points we have ten thousand already so yes please and then we'll plonk that up there. And then that works in an area effect. And because everyone sleeps here, they will all work super efficiently now. now there might even be space for another one. So the flame of progress, which makes people a lot faster. Or that one, which requires power. So I don't think we can put that up there. Look how much it costs as well. 12,000 science. Loads and loads of resources that we can't build very quickly. Now this one is... Oh, that's 400 planks. Planks are really hard to come by. Yeah, I think we might just leave that for now then. But the barracks, they look decent with their roofs on. And because the roofs give us aesthetics as well, which helps with working speed plus 5%. Nice. Although I don't want the log pumper working 25% faster. 8-bit astronaut, you are 
actually going for it in there, aren't you? Don't pump too hard. You'll hurt yourself. Oh, look down here as well. We finished the double combine, which means we've got plenty of power to get these up and running once the wet season comes and we have water, which is still quite a way off. Oh, no, no, it's happened again. It's happened again. They're all thirsty. Look, we got all the food we need now. So much food. But water, massive, massive issue. I think... Oh, I don't know what to do. We got three days to survive. We could either go mental and pump all of this water out, or we can just reduce working hours, which I think uses water slower. I tell you what, I really, really need to start building these dams up here so I can store more water and send it back. All right, there's not a lot of water. You can see them wading through there. I don't want to run out of water again because then all these spatter docks will die. Oh, look how much food we have now. <laughs> we have so much food. That's all we needed. Just the spatter doc to come back. Oh, hang on, hang on. Engineers are overrated, died of old age. So we had a shamer living among us. I think that's what's happened. We were sabotaged. I tell you what, I am actually going to turn on another water pump. Tony C has gone in there. Can you save the day? We really need you to pump your log for England, mate. Because water seems to be stuck at 60. Is that because... Is there 60 over here again? I, okay. There's 57 water over here. I'm going to migrate a load of beavers so they can go drink up. Let's migrate 60 adults. So they're all going over. They're all drinking. That's quite a good thing I did that, I think. Though I guess long term, it probably wouldn't have mattered. All right, then we're going to migrate all of these guys back. Oh god, 58. Two of them died. No. La, no, loads are dying. Koi, koi, happy hallways. Josh, you are what, what? And help, I'm stuck in a podcast factory. They all died of thirst. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? Oh, Taco War and Mythos, you both just died of thirst. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm going to open another deep water pump. So we've got three pumps going. Oh, man. Everyone's just so thirsty. No, everyone's dying. Benjamin, Chipper, Ride the Pie, Bigfoot, Hillbilly Dave, Stray Goose. Oh, no. <laughs> oh we've literally ended this how we started it in a dreadful situation we need to prepare more once this dry season is over we're going all out water storage all out pumps we will beat this we will beat this thankfully this is the final evening so as long as no one else dies it means we were successful i'll tell you what i'm even gonna go and unpause all of these water pumps ready for the morning pause a load of these science huts so they can go do that look the drought has ended oh we've just pumped all the water no <laughs> quick water come back there it is there it is never in doubt never in doubt oh we had two deaths for darsky and trudy but they died of old age it's okay i think it's okay all right meanwhile we'll unpause all of these all right and there we go oh and look your beavers are happier than ever you reached a new well-being high score nine. Oh, look at this we got 69 beavers nice, nice. <laughs> Man, it's quite cool seeing all of these, 69 out of 69. So yeah, they're just all the things that make a beaver happy. If you ever want to please a beaver, I recommend you looking up this, this little guide. Might be useful, lads. Might be useful. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Oh dear, Matt. Oh, and look, everyone is working 25% faster because the labor monument is in place. Love it. And I think, guys, that's a good place to end. I feel like we achieved nothing whilst achieving everything in that episode. <laughs> <laughs> what roller coaster of emotions we had. Still, at least we got 69 beavers. Peace, love, and nice. Bye, guys.